Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here on the Not Too Shabby channel to show you how I'm going to make a trio of quick, easy, and colorful spring slash Easter cards. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here again. As I mentioned in the intro, we are gonna be creating a trio of cards today. And I will be using some of the goodies from the latest box of the month, which is Spring Wishes. Now, if you want to see other videos using the same kit, I will have a playlist linked in that description box below. Today, I will be using the All Ears stamp set, along with the Bunny Ears paper pad and the ephemera package from the kit. Now, from the stamp set, I will just be using the sentiments because I'm going to show you how to make some cards that don't require any coloring, but that are super colorful. As I start the process, I will tell you about other products and tools I add, but if I do leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Here is a look at the three patterns I chose from the paper pad and the three coordinating pieces of ephemera. For my layout today, I'm going to be using the February 2022 sheet load of cards. I will be switching it up a little bit though. Instead of having cardstock in the background, I am going to use a piece of the pattern paper. So I will mainly focus on the dimensions for a single card. From the piece of six by six, I'm going to cut one piece that is four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall, and this will completely fill the card front. Now, once I have that main piece cut with the scrap that's left over, I cut that down to one inch wide by four and a half inches tall. Now you'll see here after I make the first cut at four and a half, it's going to be too skinny for me to hold on to. So I bring in a piece of removable tape to hold that in place while I make the cut. Originally, I thought that if I cut each of the three papers the same way, I would end up with three cards. But you'll see here a little bit later that somewhere in my head, that math went wrong. But don't worry, we will fix it before we move on. For the mat behind the three pattern paper strips, I decided to use some scraps of vellum that I had in my stash. I like the way that this separates it from the background, but it still allows you to see through it and see those pretty papers. I cut the scraps into pieces that were three and a half inches wide by four and three quarters inches tall until I had three total. Off camera, I cut down some scraps of white for the sentiment strip, and I chose a purple ink which I thought went well with the pattern papers. For the sentiments on these cards, I did choose three different ones. I chose Easter Wishes, Hoppy Spring, and I'm All Ears. I will be just using a block for these since I don't have to stamp more than one at a time. And because these are new stamps, you'll see that I did test them on that scrap of recycled paper there. Now on that first one, there was a little extra white at the top, but no big deal. I just trimmed that down just a little bit later on off camera. This is the time where I realize I don't have enough of those skinny strips to make the card. Instead of getting one skinny strip per pattern paper, I needed to have three. So I brought in the two pieces. You'll see the one with the eggs has the third pattern on the back. And I cut these down so I would end up with those six additional skinny strips that I needed. See how easy I'm going to fix that was? I'm so glad that you get more than one of each pattern in these not too shabby paper pads. 
Now that I had all of the pieces I needed, I put together my card kits, and that's just what I call matching up the papers. When I did this, I did not want to have the same pattern as a strip that I used for the background. So you'll see here that I have two of the same patterns on the outside, and then that remaining third pattern for that center strip. Off camera, I cut and folded three top fold card bases, and since all of the pieces are now ready, I could assemble the cards. I started by placing that large piece of pattern paper on the card base, covering it completely, and then I put my three strips of pattern paper onto my vellum mat. You'll notice here that I'm putting on the outside strips first, and then I can just center that third one in the middle. I continued matting those pattern paper strips, and once all three cards had that finished, I then got those pieces placed on the center of the card fronts. Now I don't want my adhesive to show through the vellum, so I put three strips on the back of each piece, hiding it behind the patterns. You'll see here is a finished one, and I did the remaining three off screen. After matching each of the card bases up with a piece of ephemera and a sentiment, I adhered my sentiment to the front just across those three strips of pattern paper. Depending on the size and shape of my ephemera piece, it kind of determined how high up my sentiment would go on the card front. You might notice here on the third card that I accidentally adhered the sentiment upside down. Well, the great thing about the not too shabby paper, because it has that coating, I was just able to pull that right off and get it fixed. Because the cards are pretty flat so far, I did add some foam tape to the back of each piece of ephemera before adding it to the card fronts. Now I did do a little bit more decoration. Off camera, I used the sequins that came with the kit, as well as the pattern paper scraps to finish the cards. Here is a close-up look at each of the cards with the sequins added and the decoration on the inside. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's quick and easy cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.